Mr. Brexit Nigel Farage has said Donald J. Trump has exceeded all expectations as U.S. President and urged Americans not to judge Britain by the anti-Trump actions of London Mayor Sadiq Khan. The former UK pleader made the comments ahead of his appearance at the Conservative Political Action Conference, CPAC, where he will spend three days meeting Republican governors and conservative campaigners. I want to say to the audience at PAC, please don't judge my country by London Mayor Sadiq Khan, Mr Corbyn, and the left who every time the president is going to visit the UK promise mass street protests, Mr Farage told Fox and Friends. Actually, the truth of it is that in the UK, too, people are beginning to get the Trump message and he would be very welcome to come to our country. Left-wing Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn has encouraged mass protests against the US president, despite a plurality of Brits now backing him visiting the UK after a recent surge of support in the polls. Mr Khan, meanwhile, has relentlessly agitated against President Trump, flying to the US to campaign against his election, claiming he is not welcome in London, and even comparing him to Islamic State terrorists. Prime Minister Theresa May extended an invitation to President Trump for a full state visit when the two leaders met in the White House last year, but the planned trip has been repeatedly pushed back. He was expected to fly to Britain to formally open the new U.S. Embassy in London this month, but pulled out at the last minute, blaming the Obama administration for selling the previous embassy for peanuts. Mayor Khan celebrated the cancellation, claiming President Trump would have been met with mass protests and saying he did not support the values of London. Asked what his message about President Trump would be to PAC, Farage added, I shall say that here is a man who is keeping faith with his electorate. He continued, Don't be distracted by everybody's excitement over, globalist French President Emmanuel, Macron. The revolution of those that believe in nation-state and national identity is still rolling. The vote that is called populist in Europe averaged 8% in 2000, it is now 24%. The pivot that 2016 represents was far from being a temporary blip. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe our channel for more news videos daily and for what's viral today. Also turn on post notifications and don't miss nothing. A thumbs up really makes me blessed.